The word philo comes from the Greek word for leaf, as in lots of leafy layers of buttery goodness, like in my spanakopita. This is a phyllo dough, and I have a wet towel over it because I don't want it to dry out before I can even make my lovely little pockets of goodness. But before I go here, I'm gonna make something to fill them with. Greek food, we're like this. I love spanakopita, but I know it can feel a little intimidating to make your own, particularly with the phyllo dough, but it's really fun and easy, so never fear. Got some pine nuts, which, unlike some other strangely named foods, actually come from a certain kind of pine tree. They're that classic addition to pesto. It's so delicious here. Lots of spinach. I am still always so surprised by how it just wilts down to nothing. Lovely, lovely dill. Such an energizing pick-me-up fragrance. I love cooking with it. This is feta, which often is a cow's milk cheese, but traditionally, it's usually goat or sheep. And a bit of ricotta, which is a whey milk cheese. It's sweet. Creamy. Well, once you've got the technique down, you can totally be creative. You can make these little pockets with whatever your heart desires. Now for the fun slash tricky part actually working with the phyllo dough. So the towels are super important here because phyllo is so light and dries out so quickly. It's a little bit delicate, but at the same time, it's not like it has to be perfect. I've got my first piece of phyllo dough. This handy little bottle allows me to spray my olive oil without actually using one of those like icky sprays. make a little triangle. And as per usual, I always love to overfill everything and tuck it in. Voila. She wrote. She's ready to get baked. You are just one step away. Don't hold on to the past because it can't be changed. Oh, <laughs> those look good. Before you ever do something for the first time, it always seems like it's gonna be so much more difficult than it really is. And that's the fun of cooking. Not being afraid to bust out of your comfort zone. Oh. 
Even if the first time you try something and it doesn't quite work out like it does in your favorite restaurant, it's no big deal. That's part of the fun of learning. Never be afraid to try something new.